In DC Comics, Green Lanterns are like space cops, with emphasis on the word space. Any one from any alien race can become a Green Lantern, and although most Green Lanterns have a humanoid form, that is not a rule. The only requirement to become a Green Lantern is to have a strong willpower. Your physical appearance is irrelevant. Because of this, we've seen some pretty interesting Green Lanterns throughout the years. Like, for example, a fly, and a virus, and a whale, and a mathematical equation. But my absolute favorite is Box. He is a box, but he's a Green Lantern. Now, you probably have a couple of questions, like what, and also what's his story, and we don't know, we don't know anything about his backstory, and I hope it never gets revealed. What we do know is that he's actually capable. Box fought and survived the Sinestro Corpse War, a battle between the Green and the Yellow Lanterns. Hell, Superboy Prime was fighting people during that war, a bunch of Green Lanterns died, but not Box, he survived. At the end of the day, Box is a Green Lantern, and as I've said before, the rings are no joke. They let you create anything you can imagine, so what has Box done with it? Well, I hope you're ready to get your mind blown, because we've seen him create a pair of gloves. <laughs> Look guys, he can use them to hold his food. Wait, how does he eat? And if a pair of gloves is not enough, he can bring out the big guns. A pair of gloves and a bat which he can presumably use to bonk you in the head really hard. There is also that one time Box helped restrain Kara zor a female Kryptonian who was a Red Lantern at the time. Look guys, he's helping! But when his own power is not enough, Box can always combine his energy with the energy of other Green Lanterns. Like that one time he combined his power with the power of a Squirrel and a Bionicle to create Mecha Darkseid. That's not me giving it a silly name, by the way. This is actually the name the comic book uses for this construct. However, believe it or not, despite all these amazing feats, Box is not invincible. Yeah, crazy, I know. He has been defeated at least three times. Also, he has an arch nemesis, the Red Lantern Sox, who is a head with arms and legs. <laughs> Their rivalry represents the dichotomy of which is better, a circle or a square. <laughs> Forget Goku vs Superman, this is the debate to end all debates. Now you might think that Box is a silly Joe character, but that's because you cannot even fathom the gravitas and complexity of this character. See, boxes are made to contain things. You know what's also made to contain things? Prisons. And you know where you find prisons? In society. That's right, Box is a commentary on how society is a prison. See, anything can be deep if you pretend it is. Anyways, I hope you are a fan of Box now and you agree with me when I say that he is the greatest Green Lantern that has ever existed, because that's not an opinion, that's a fact. And if you disagree, you're just wrong. I think that's gonna do it, but before I go, I'd like to leave you with this. Box looks like a green box because he has a Green Lantern ring. So what color is he when he doesn't have a Green Lantern ring? And also, where does he store the ring? Inside of himself? Ooh, maybe he's also a commentary on how the real Green Lantern was inside us all along. Damn, that's deep. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.